No unboxing video. We get right to it here. Uh, today we're reviewing the Milwaukee Osculating Multi Tool versus the Fine Multi Master Osculating Tool. Tons of names for these: Super Tool, Multi Tool, um, Fine Saw, Osculating Saw, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's an awesome tool. My dad always would say, "Why is this the first tool out of the job?" Because he's an old school framer. I say, "How in the world did you live without this tool?" Um, I'm gonna show these to you today because I looked constantly for these. I had a, the original version of the multi tool from Milwaukee, and it did okay. Um, this is definitely an upgrade from the original version. I wish I still had that one because this channel is about trying to show you old beat up tools that have been used each and every day on a job, and. Um, unfortunately, I didn't know I was going to do that at the time when I replaced it, so I got rid of it. This right, the tool, old one can't hang anyway. Yeah, the old one can't hang. And if the tool can't hang, less it goes. <laughs> um, this is a great tool. It's about three years old. It's been shoved through drywall. It's, it's done everything, man. It's got tile for us. It's, it's really been beat up, and, and it gets used. The one thing that I gripe about on this, though, is the battery indicator. You cannot see. From day one, it was cloudy, but... I, I don't need a battery indicator. Um, it's not super important to me. So I needed the tool. I got it. We were using it. I realized it. And I was like, you know what? Too late. Whatever. I moved on from it. Um, this right now has two bars. This one only has one bar. So hopefully we've got enough juice to do this. Uh, we're just doing this on the fly. We had some time today, so we went for it. It does have two through 12 to help you adjust your power. The quick release is nice on it. It'll take your standard flat blades there. It'll also take the Starlock blade. Um, I'm going to do a quick little demo for you too. You don't need a tool for it. You can just use your hands, tighten it, lock it in place, and then it's done. So I'm going to go straight to 12. This is just some common material from the lumber yard, um, spruce, and here we go. show you some different cut styles with it. this is a universal bim metal wood blade from fine it cut like butter i hope this is able to be heard on there someone told me we could use like a d a decibel reader on my phone i'm not trying to get that fancy for y'all i'm just trying to show you what we do each and every day and we don't use decibel readers each and every day i think this saw is a little bit better than the milwaukee i think it's quieter i don't think it bogs oh wait, what am i doing i don't think it bogs down when you load this up, make sure you don't pinch yourself because those snap out. Um, and now it's locked in. It's nice and strong. I think it's quieter. I think when it gets bogged down, this head tends to pivot and goes into the bog. When we're doing harder material and this one gets bogged down, like we were just doing some pine baseboard, we were having a cutout, we were doing a restoration job, and it gets bogged down and it shuts off. And it gets bogged down and it shuts off. This thing, I very rarely have it shut off on me. It's almost like it wants to get bogged down. You can almost see that head start torquing like, all right, come on, let's get after it. This saw's been in the rain. And when I say it's been in the rain, I had it for like a week, God bless it. And I left it in a, um, on a job, I left it in a little flower pot that I was stupidly setting my tools in. It rained that night, I came back the next day, I got to my van, pulled out the case. I'm like, where's my tool? I gave up on it, but luckily Coop did it. He restored it, he oiled it up and greased it up and just kept working it. Didn't really do anything too special to it, right? I mean, no, just give some TLC, cleaned it up, Yeah, and let it dry it, out. It, it works fine. The only thing I have on this is this one right here. This battery, the other one doesn't do it, but this battery for some reason, I mean, I'm not a strong guy, but I'm not weak either. This battery, fine, you're a great company. You make great tools. You were the first one to make this one. We gotta do a little bit better than this right here. This, this yeah, that clip sucks. Gets, gets stuck and it sucks, and that's why it's not my everyday one. I still carry it because I like it better, but that, that kind of stinks, guys. Um, all right, so here I'm, I'm sure it shows that way. <laughs> battery's about to go um 
I'm not going to refilm this. Sorry. You just got to take my word on it. This is a better tool. The battery is dying. It was harder to cut through that time. Um, but with a full battery or even two bars to compare to two bars, this is a better tool. But to me, you got what you needed out of it. You hear that it's quieter. If you didn't get to see that it's a better tool, you got to take my word on that. But it does cut a little bit better. It doesn't cut so much better that I carry it and, and only grab this. No, Milwaukee's my ecosystem. I've got batteries set up for that. I always have the batteries charged for that. I'm always ready to go with a Milwaukee. And that's the one I grab first. Um, but when I'm being real picky and just want to use a really good quality tool that just feels better to hold, feels better to, to use, I do use this tool because it is just, in my opinion, the better tool. Um, so if you're not committed to an ecosystem, you're just looking for a good saw, I, I would I would say the Multimaster here, which I think they have three levels. I think Multimaster is the middle one. Um, I think the only difference is the other one is a 5.0 battery instead of 3.0, uh, but this is, a, this is a great tool. I want to show you all this too. This is a cool little uh, blade. As a little bonus, I should have had this ready. I think the videos are long. I'm trying to make them short and sweet for y'all. Where's that metal blade? Oh, it's got, it's got red writing on it. This right here yeah. is the Diablo carbide tip metal blade. We've used it so much the metal's gone. It, the part that says metal's off of it. But look at that. All the teeth are still there. We cut we have cut, thousands of yeah, metal with this thing, man. This, and it doesn't even take any effort. Yeah. We've lost maybe par, a little bit of one tip there. That's it. So I had driven some drywall screws earlier here in an early, earlier video. Pop this baby in. And she will zip right on through this drywall screw. I, it's a beautiful thing. I can't tell you how little effort I was using there. I was just telling the saw to go forward. I wasn't pushing at all. And there's that's, still teeth on that, baby. That's a, that's a great, <laughs> great metal tip. I don't know if we got, you know, lucky and we found the best one they've ever made, but that's the way they all are. We just stumbled upon it in a uh, multi-pack, and I will buy that multi-pack for $70 every single time just for this blade. That blade is that good for metal. Um, yeah, we've cut countless nails, framing nails, brad nails, 15 gauge brads, 16, 18, we've got everything and it and it's holding up just fine and it's still just fine, it's had no issue. Um, Coop treats it like his baby, he doesn't let me cut wood with it, so I'll go and take it out to make sure I don't get yelled at. And, uh, yeah, so anyways, don't mean to carry on. Thank y'all very much for watching. Liking and subscribing does help us out a lot, it genuinely helps. I'm not a big liker and subscriber myself, but if you wouldn't mind mashing that for us, it would be appreciated. And always comment, let us know what you wanna see. Most of my lineups, Milwaukee, but we'll get some other things going too. Comment, it'll help us out. Thank you.